Welcome to the town of Canton, North Carolina. Canton was founded in 1889 as Buford, North Carolina. Later that same year, the name was changed to Vincent. The name was changed to Pigeon Ford in 1891 and to Canton in 1893. The town was named for Canton, Ohio, the source of the steel for the bridge that was built across the Pigeon River. Canton is home to the Evergreen Packaging Mill, an employee-owned facility. Opened in 1908 as the Champion Fiber Company, the pulp and paper mill has played a significant role in the environmental and social history in this part of the southern Appalachians. Over the course of its lifetime, no matter who has owned it, the mill has had a major impact on the area's natural resources through activities including timber harvesting, paper production, and product conversion. In early March, Evergreen announced they would be closing the Canton Mill in the early summer of 2023 and would stop receiving wood chips a month prior. Evergreen Packaging is served by the Blue Ridge Southern Railroad and is their biggest customer between their two lines in western North Carolina. Norfolk Southern's local, P87, brings in wood chips for the Blue Ridge Southern from the Bridgewater Chip Mill. P87 traverses the Southern Railway's famous loops where he will twist and wind over himself multiple times on their journey up the mountain. As a result of the mill's closure, train P87 will no longer run. Train P60's traffic will come in from Linwood on P61, resulting in no more trains on the former Southern Loops. If through freight trains do not return, Southern Railway's loops will be in great threat of abandonment or used for storage purposes only. This is a sad time for the folks in Western North Carolina who have grew up on the Asheville District as well as the Murphy Branch. As for the Blue Ridge Southern, they will definitely decrease in size and move a couple of their locomotives to different Watco lines, or they could completely seize operations for good, making freight railroading in the heart of the Blue Ridge gone for good. If something doesn't change, this is going to be a big impact on families and railroads in western North Carolina. As someone who has a logo and channel name inspired by the Blue Ridge Southern and has grew up along the Asheville District all my life, this really hurts to see this go down. Who knows what the future holds for Western North Carolina, and until it happens, we won't know.